Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute five inspiration message from Solid Rock Drogada. There are topics that we simply do not like to talk about because they are uncomfortable. Now, the Bible talks a lot about sin and the reason can be understood. Sin is an offense against God. The Bible tells us, no one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Now, I know that this scripture was talking about the love of money, but there is a principle that our Lord Jesus highlighted. Slavery to sin is bondage, and slavery to God is freedom. We must therefore be honest with ourselves and avoid ignoring you know, this biblical truth. This is important because God created us to be free, and this freedom is precious. You just need to study you know, the history of humanity to realize this. People prayed, you know, fought oppression, and even died for freedom, and are still doing that to this day. The truth, the truth is, regardless of one's circumstances, everyone is a slave either to sin or to God. And Jesus said that whoever commits sin is the slave of sin, John chapter 8, verse 34. And Paul added that all creation is in bondage to corruption, Romans chapter 8, verse 21. However, we who are in Christ have been set free. The Bible says, but now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. Romans chapter 6, verse 22. The Roman Empire had up to 20 million slaves. The slave trade was a major industry. And for a slave to gain his freedom, he had to pay a redemption price. The Greek word uh, for you know, such a transaction is lutro, which Paul uses in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 to speak of our redemption from the bandage of sin. Slavery to sin is bondage, and slavery to God is freedom. It seems, you know, paradoxical, but God is the sovereign king. And true freedom means having the ability to bend our will to his will and thus become all that he created us to be. Easy to do? Hmm, certainly not. What matters before the Lord is the motivation behind the actions we take and our desire as believers to be like Christ. Those who are slaves you know, to sin cannot do this and do not even want to because the desire and motivation are not there. My encouragement for you today is that your heart may be, you know, enlightened, you know, with the truth of the Word of God so that you can understand the meaning and the importance of getting rid of sin in our lives and embracing the freedom that we have in Jesus Christ. I pray um, if you are listening to me today that you know the Lord frees you from any sin in your life that is trying to enslave you. That his grace will supersede your will and free you from any sin. May the blood of Jesus cleanse you now and may you live free by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Remember, you were created to be free, not a slave. Amen? Hallelujah. God bless you and see you next time for another Tech 5.